share um, some of your uh, MP3s in your website mm -hmm. yeah. that I would like to put in this interview too. Oh, and, no. and, and I have to say, you have beautiful voice. So what is it that you really, what is your passion? Like, because you are like a, a, an actress, a, a poem a person, uh, and also a singer and a teacher. Like what is, all these things are your passion or are you focusing one? Ah, it's funny you asked me that. I was writing about that just this morning. Um, I just call myself an artist, an educator and a scholar. Um, but what that means, you know, it can be anything. If the, if the idea comes to me in a song, then I'll sing it. If it comes as a poem, then it will be a spoken poem, perhaps with pieces that are sung. If it comes as a need to teach a particular course, then I'll do that. You know, If it comes as a desire to write an essay or do my PhD, which I'm doing, or, or um, teach in a faculty, as a faculty member in a graduate interdisciplinary arts program, then that's the work that I'll do. So I'm not that, you know, Alex, I'm not that concerned about, there was a time when I was really worried about, you know, well, pick one, Nayula, you know, be a poet, or <laughs> just be a singer, just pick something, you know, be a playwright, just pick something. But it's not me, you know? I think that all of these ways of creating, of, of, of educating, and of learning in the world are, um, they're just, they're ways of doing it. And I kind of feel too that the whole desire to have like theater be one discipline, film be one discipline, dance be one discipline, is very North American. And it's very kind of white Western European, you know? And so, like, when I think about the work of artists that I grew up with, or women who I, and men who I think of as artists who weren't, you know, for a bunch of reasons, able to pursue being an artist full time, like, I don't think of them as being in a specific discipline. My grandmother was a fabulous storyteller, could have been a theater artist, but she was an amazing textile artist as well, you know, and, and, and was a botanist because she would work with plants. So I've been around people my whole life who are interdisciplinary artists, who don't fit into the dis disciplines of a kind of Western European, white Western European way of perceiving art. So I'm an artist and an educator and a scholar. You know, I'll fit into call whatever discipline works for a project, but um, you know, I'm not. I'm not spending a lot of time thinking about that. <laughs> That's good. I mean, I'm glad to hear that because we pretty much like I find a lot of uh, uh, people of color mm -hmm. than being a singer, than being a visual artist. I mean, I'm one of them too. Mm -hmm. Like you say, you know, if something comes in a form of film or, or a painting, or I mean, it will come. It mm -hmm. just will come, and you you will make magic, and it will show it. Mm -hmm. So it, it's it's great. I think it's great. Yeah. And, um, um, so I would like to know if you would like to say another poem ah. <laughs> <laughs> to our oh audience. My. Um, I can say another poem. I wasn't planning to. Um, you know, I think the poem that comes to mind for me right now is um, one that I wrote after um, watching a news report about what was happening some of what was happening in Cambodia. Hmm? I think you've heard this poem before, Alex, but I'll do it again. Okay, um, so here, Naila, <laughs> Keleta, Mae, mm -hmm. en las perlas del mar news. Uh, this poem is called Grandchildren of Pol Pot. She is seven. Two weeks ago, two thieves entered her remote village. She has since been sold two times. Four by six room in city, her new confines. With soiled mattress beneath her, she weeps harder when client enters. He is 10. Tethered outside tourist hotel in capital. Each of his orifices disposable every night. Each of his years garners one US dollar. 
Clients ejaculation and excrements soil his prepubescent skin. She is nine. Vagina too small to accommodate old man's erect penis. But he believes that him inside of her equals good luck, health, prosperity. With rusted razor, he slices her wider. Mm -hmm. um, thank you very much for having us again. Thank you for coming, Naila. Thank you for having me. And um, see you next time. Oh, my philosophy.